So what we wanted to do was we wanted to, we've had a think, we've, we've, we've sat back, we've had a think about what we wanted to sort of try and use. And now a big thing for yourself mainly, because it's not happened for me yet, is that you are going to be a father. Like yeah. it's, it's, a, it's, it's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. I'd like to be a father. And now we both had colourful children uh, upbringings colorful upbringings would you say yeah i think uh definitely majority of people in our generation you know those people yeah 1990 around that time mm -hmm. you know uh would have gone through a similar thing mm -hmm. um and i think one of the benefits of of you know internet and the access to information and mm -hmm. stuff like we've been privileged enough to have in yes. growing up since we were you know in our 20s to now mm is the fact that there is a lot more information and people are sharing stories and talking about things. And um, one of those things is a better way to do things in the way you were taught. Taught. Yeah. Yeah. So don't just do what your parents did. Is that what you're trying to say? Pretty much. And that's like one of the key things that both your parents said to you and what my parents said to me. Yes. Is that we just did what, you know, we had learned. Yes. And I was like, well... And I asked my mum and I said, did you like that? And she's like, no, I did not. And I'm like, well, <laughs> why'd you do that for me then? And then they just go, well, we were doing our best. Yeah, yeah. they're all doing our best. And, That's you know, like maybe there's an element of truth to that. But, mm. you know, we have the opportunity to think about things that we could do better. Absolutely. Being parents. Um, by the way, I think you'll make a great dad. Yeah, I hope so. Because I, I was very reactive when I was younger, like yeah, in my early too, 20s. Yep. And uh, I feel very reserved now. And uh, currently with, you know, babysitting uh, nieces and nephews, uh, I try not to react, um, mainly because they're not my kids, so I don't want to smack them, but bloody hell, like I do. <laughs> and, oh, man. And um, you don't want to smack them. Well, I, I do. I do want to smack them. But you know I, what's really good? For kids to learn how to you know, regulate their emotions and stuff like that, mm. restricting their airways. <laughs> Didn't you say your grandpa did that to you one time? When yeah, you were, he used to hold my nose when, when, when I'd be crying. Yeah, yeah. 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 He'd be like, oh, stop that. And I'd be like, <laughs> and then yeah, he'd hold my nose. So, so I'd stop. look forward to that, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Wild Bill. Two days old and you fucking... None of that, Bill. None of that crying nah, shit. I won't be doing that to the young fella. But it's crazy yeah. to think that it's it could be three weeks away. You know what I mean? Could be. Could be. And, we've, um, we've got bets on, even though we're anti-betting. We're betting on when the baby will come. Oh, it's yeah. It's just in fun in jest. Yes, you know, yeah, we're not yeah. doing it with a betting agency. Um, not although yet. the odds are not they will yet. be up. <laughs> they just here. <laughs> 